So we're going to look at this equation where delta G, which is the Gibbs free energy as we just defined, uh, is equal to the standard Gibbs free energy uh, plus RT ln of Q. So as I just said, delta G naught is the standard Gibbs free energy. You have probably seen R before, which is otherwise known as the gas constant. And is equal to 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. T is the temperature. units Kelvin. Finally, Q is the law of mass action. So recall, for a reaction, uh, for instance, shown here, Q is going to be equal to this equation here. Where these are concentrations of the product C and concentrations of the reactants A and B. And these are uh, multiplied to the power of uh, their stoichiometry within the balanced equation. So we have several, we have two uh, important uh, special cases of this equation. First, uh, gives us the standard Gibbs free energy. This occurs when Q, uh, rather, the, uh, where all the products and the reactants For all the concentrations are equal to one molar. At that case, Q is equal to one. And what happens is, in this term, ln of Q uh, becomes ln of one, and the natural log of one is always zero. So this term cancels out. And delta G is equal to delta G naught. So that gives us the definition of the standard Gibbs free energy. This is when Q equals 1, or rather when the concentrations of the reactants in the product all equal 1 molar. The second special case is uh, at equilibrium. So when Q equals the equilibrium constant which you've seen before uh, when you studied equilibrium in uh, general chemistry, uh, then when the equilibrium, at equilibrium, delta G is equal to zero. So when you rearrange this equation, the standard Gibbs free energy is equal to negative RT ln of KEQ. And so this suggests that if we know the equilibrium constant, then we can calculate uh, the standard Gibbs free energy or vice versa. And before we move on, we have one final thing uh, to define. So while this is standard Gibbs free energy, There's an alternative notation shown here. There's a prime added. This is uh, biochemical 
standard gives free energy. And so for biochemical standard gives free energy, there are just a few slight differences. First, the standard conditions are that the pH is equal to 7. And then any water or protons that are in the balanced equation are both set equal to 1. And that gives us, uh, so that, that makes it easier to calculate, um, calculate uh, changes in free energy uh, in biochemical systems. And so that's why we use this.